um, the front entrance hall. All right, so we now have Saito Saito no se no takai kuroi doa o tsururito tori nuketara muko no horu ni horu ni wa veneto shik um, you accidentally read this guy wrong. Do you want to try it again? So it's, um, side, side. It is side goal. Side goal. I like K, but goal. The G. I'm guessing this means at the very the very Hi. last thing that he did. Yep. The very last door. Um, the door is described as being a, a tall black door. At the very last, the very last door. And the action is Sururito Tori. Nuketara. Um, while while Khan was going through, and he nuketara, meaning he slipped through, he slipped through it. Right. His suruto, his sururito is the adverb that describes. Yep, it is the a of him going adverb. Yep, a sound effect adverb. It basically means smoothly. Sururi? Smoothly. Um, so you got Sururi. Tara and Nagara confused with? Tara, Nagara. Hi. This is Tara, meaning Hi. when. Yep. So when he went through and slipped through, he mukō no horu ni wa across uh, the hall that was in the opposite direction but net was not there was Bennett not there was shika i'm so sorry this is shika nai so the only person there was Bennett. perfect and mcgall is kind of just saying the main character is kind of facing the direction he's facing kind of so the hall that's facing him um so basically where his eyesight is hi so now, um, Kuro Hikari Akari Kuro Kuro Akari Tsuru. Ah, uh, I, I moved the line. I'm so sorry. Uh, Higure no Kimi no Teka Teka wa Hitori mo Inai. There's not even one minions right. of the Lord of Twilight. Kuro hikari tsuru uh, ishi. So kuro is it's on a loan reading, and hikari can also be on its loan. So what do you think is going to happen to hikari when we get these two married? I uh, see. So there's going to be um, a a a um. A ten ten, a uh, hi 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 hi, a, a voicing right? Is that yep. what it called? Voicing. Uh, yep, voicing. So it's instead of hikari, I um, mean akari is gonna be. Was it hikari or akari? It's hikari. Akari, hikari has hikari. different kanji, but those are the same meaning. Um, it's gonna be bikari. Hikari. So kuro bikari tsuru, ishi no yuka o. So the floor that are stone, that are lustered black. Right. Um, neko no yo ni oto o tatte zu ni susunda. Uh, he, he susunda, he continued. 
Tatte Zuni. Zuni money. What is that? So Zu goes with like negative forms. So it's Tateru, Tatenai, Tatezu. So Zuni means without. Oto Tatezuni. Without making Hi. any noises. So he said then that he advanced without any noise like that of a cat no well, like a, he advanced with like a he like a cat yeah like a cat yeah where did he advance on he advanced onto the floor onto the, the floor not really like onto the floor but just like he's advancing like on the floor so in this case the floor is kind of almost more modifying the oto tatezu so basically he doesn't make a sound on the floor kind of almost Hi. Uh, Sun Kang. Veneto ni tsukamate kao o hipata kareta hipokar hipotar kareta hipa hipa hipat from hipataku. Hipataku. Um, hippa is like completely, right, Moni? Kind of, yeah. All the time? Not that kind of completely. Always? Isn't that what it means? It's, it's not a separate word going on here. Um, hipataku is one word, but it is made out of a compound word. I believe the he is just like the pool. From Hiku. He pulled. So what did he do here? He uh Shunkang. So Shunkang, Shunkang is the guessing the the, the hallway, is it? Hey. Uh well not hall not the hallway. Um hallway's uh Doro Shunkan is a moment. Or the moment. moment. So the moment approaches. Approaches the moment. Chikazuita shunkan. So when you're modifying the word moment in Japanese or any other time phrases, it's not really modifying it like you're approaching that time or something like that. It's it's not really used for that kind of meaning like ever. So shunkan, uchi, toki. Tokuro, all those words when it's being referred to as a time, it's basically a way to say when in Japanese. The way how it's different than tada is that norm is that tada, you know, it's like an actual clause. This is a relative clause, right? That's being used to describe when rather than really being like two separate sentences. So there's more like different kind of like restrictions when you use one for, or the other. So this means the moment when I got closer. As the moment is being described as the one where I chikazukud. I see here. So the moment I got closer. Um, sukamatte kao o. Grab my. He grabs. He grabs me. When it yes. grabs me, or he captured me. Hi. And it's hard because he... skamu and skamaru are very similar words. So I right hear tsukamaru, which is to capture somebody, while tsukamu is to grab. And they're both used in this um, book. So here it's capturing rather than grabbing. Tsukamate. So he captured me. Hi. And he pulls my face. Good guess. So even though I told you that he is like from pool, hipotake means to um slap someone. Sl slap them? Hi. Oh my. Um and then karita, mm -hmm. which is on top of it, right? He 
It's like the motion of enveloping. That's a good guess. You're thinking of like kakaru, which could be something that could be stuck on there onto verbs and compound. But this is um areru, right? Hipataku ku turns into kareru. So it's passive form. Areru. Kareru. Right. Ka and areru. Right. Ku turned into ka. Hipataku. So my face was slap. I... My face was slap. Yeah. I was captured and my face was slap. I... もっとひどくなくれくられたこともあるがまざかことでベネトにやられるとは so here we have a relative clause modifying koto. You know what koto means? Koto, an event. Hi, hi, hi. A generalizer of some sort. Exactly. And when you have koto ga aru or koto mo aru, this tends to refer to like the possibility of this event ever having occurred in your life. So, for example, I could say, Nihon ni ita koto ga aru, which means I have been to Japan at some point. So, I'm not necessarily in Japan right now, but I've experienced an event in which I went to Japan. Um, so, aru means ex the event exists currently, but the event could have happened in the past. Which, in this case, as you can see, it's being modified by ta, right? Nagurareta which means this is an event that happened in the past. Nagurareta koto mo aru. What do you think that means? Nagure. Nagurare. From naguru. Motto naguru. And then it goes into a passive form, right, Moni? Hi, hi. It is in passive form again. Nagurare. So it's ra and then are. Right. Na, 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 so he, he is to is hit someone. Sorry, I'm just trying to do like, the... it's hard to draw someone punching. So he was the is it is describing the koto of being hit. So hi. It was the event of being hit. Hi. It exists. Oh, it it exists. What do you think that and we would how we would say that into English? The event of being hit existed. What do you think he's trying to express here? I'm guessing the the part that modifies this is he say motohidoku. Hi. Does he say that I have never been hit like this before or no. I had been hit like Where did never come from? I'm guessing like this moto. Moto hidoku. Oh, uh, moto does more... not mean never. So in Japanese, negative is always going to be at the end of the sentence. That is a nai form, right? And also zu form in case it's at the in the being like without. So right here that is negative, but um it's never going to be at the front of the sentence. So even though like fu, for example, like fushigi, meaning un, that's not really like a negative word on its own. You're just making a compound word with un added to it, which is different than like no, right? No would be nai, or as I said, um, zu. Those are the two ways, I think, really just the only ways that you can have some kind of negative knowing going on. Motto is basically the same as the word more. Um, but coming from hidoi. From hidoi, yeah. Which is worse. So something more worse. More worse. So you're still, though, very confused with the most important part of this, which is what nagure, nagurareta koto mo aru means. So I told you that I could say, um, I'm going to make this white so you could have a visual... Text. Um, 
で、たことがある。This is the sentence I can say. ニョニ、いたことがある。This is literally there exists the event of having gone to Japan. Contextually, you can assume we're talking about me. There exists an event where I have gone to Japan. So I can say, I've been to Japan. There exists an event where I've been to Japan. I went to Japan. So I is insinuated in kotogaru sentences. Here we say, nagurareta koto mo aru. What do you think that means? The only difference here is this mo as opposed to a ja. So, this had happened not just currently, but before I was also there was an event where I was hit as well. Yes, I've been hit. So, also, I've it's a good way of this. Before. In this case, it's probably more like the even type of thing, like he's adding like stress here. So, it's like even though kind of with the ka. Even though I've been hit before, um, it's basically saying, even though I've been hit, um, I'm adding the word before because here when I say I've been to Japan, the before is insinuated. But for some reason, when I said I've been hit, it sounds like I've just been hit, but that's not actually what the sentence is saying. It's saying the event of being hit has occurred at some point. Um, and this could be multiple events. I could have been to Japan many times, and that's a good way of putting it. It, it's it's not really used when something has just happened, which is why the molt is going on here. So I just was hit, but I've also been hit in the past. Um, so I guess also does work good here. Um, specifically, though, that's described as moto hidoku, which means I've been hit worse than this in the past. All right. We have a little ga right here. So, um, hi. Right. So he's saying that I was hit. Um, yeah, it has the connotation as I was hit now, and then I was also hit before. I understand. Hi. And then, furthermore, he say masaka koto koto koko de beneto ni. Yara, yara to wa. Hmm. What is this? Um, wa and masaka are basically illustrating the same point here, which is showing surprise. Say, surprise no Pikachu way. face. Hi. Um, koko de beneto ni yara koto wa. To be hit here. Basically. By the net. It's unbelievable that I'm being hit here. Exactly. Perfect. So, can't you can translate it to be hit. Specifically, it's to be done in, like someone's going to kill you or beat you up till you're knocked unconscious kind of idea. Versus, which is the word over here, which is actually to be hit. So, I just thought I'd stress the difference since they're right next to each other. So, what happened... Reiterating from the beginning of this paragraph is that right when I got close to Bennett, Bennett grabs me and punches me in the face. While I have been hit before much worse, the fact there's no, it's unbelievable that I'm going to be done in right now here by Bennett. Hi. Um, then, say, Fuyo tsukarete kabemade kabemade fu futobi uh go go bubuku go shubun ah uh, hi 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 go, um this is a hard word uh ko tobu ko tobu tobu to is the head Boot is a section or a part. So the part of the head 
that, that is the behind. Apple. Yep. Ko ko tobu o. Um. This is also the kanji for hit. Yes, it is. Translates u. Uchi uchi tsuke. Kuchibiru o. Kande shimatta. Okay, so what did he do here? He fui o surete kabe mare fu. What did he do to the fui and what is the fui? So fui o tsuke, um, fui o tsuke with a ku is to take it by surprise. So we have tsukarete. What do you think that means? Tsukarete. Suku is to attach. Hi. And arete is the passive ending. Hai. So, so take side for a prize turns I, into what? I was attached. I was taken by surprise. I was taken. Fui is surprised by itself, right? Basically. You attach okay, surprise. So I was taken. I was taken by surprise. Okay. Kabe mada at the wall. I was something. I was I arrive at the wall. Basically, we I got made. fuki tobu from tobu to fly and fuki to blow. When you get blowing and flying combined together, it's kind of imagine like um an anime character being flown away, thrown into a wall. Fuki tobare. Fuki tobu. Fuki tobi. Futo, futo bi. Futo bi. I was flown I was flown to the wall I was flown right. at the wall all the way until the wall and all what happened and then uchitsuke I was hit at the back of the head how do you think the his back of the head was hit do you think Bonnet ran over and smacked him in the back of the head no, he was slammed. Hi, hi. His head was slammed, right? Uchitsuke yes. is attaches. Yep. There's something something attached to his head that causes him hi. to be hit. Any guesses what it could have been when he got blown into the wall after being punched in the face? From context is the Kabe. So, so. Okay, so it hit him in the back of the head. And kuchibiru, kuchi is during this time, isn't it? Uh, kuchi is mouth, and kuchibiru mouth. together means lips. The lips, okay, so his teeth bite his lips, right? Okay. Tobi. And what did he do? No, uh, ka 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 so he accidentally bit his lips. Right. When his head was hit. Hi. Isn't that right? Hi. Yep. Yeah, good. So now, Benet, Benet, wa nani, nani mo iwazu. This iwazu is the negative form of EU. Hi. So you got EU and Azu. Hi, just Turning like with we have Tatezu. These are the same grammatical point right here. So you could add a ni Nani here, mo. it would be the same. Iwazu ni, Iwazu. So he, it basically say Benet without saying anything. Hi. He mata, one, once again, he ureo. Um, what did he do? He crossed his arm. So crossing Hai. his arm is kumu. Hai. From inde. So he crosses his arms. Oreo nirami tsukete. And he, what did he do to me? He nirami tsukete. So he attaches a nirami. Hai. Niramu. Which is a glare. Hi, 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 a glare. Perfect. Yeah. It touches a glare at me. He glares at me. 